Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Kirby's Adventure. Today, we're taking on level seven, Rainbow Resort. And this one is pretty cool. We're up in the stars, it seems. We got clouds, little star shapes around here. I don't know if this is the last world, but it's definitely close to it. If it's not the last world, it's definitely the second to last world. And we should have, I think, uh, whoa, I can use the fireball a bit here, but I'm pretty sure I need to use the laser. You can already see some of the different things we can sort of shoot or reflect our shots around with. But uh, I think our goal here is to find two more buttons, and they should be the last two buttons in the game that we need to find. So we'll be looking all over for them. I love this sort of darker blue color palette though. Oh, and there's a one up. So I think what we need to do here is be very careful, but duck under here and then shoot this the other way. There you go, and get ourselves a one up worth the 10 lives again. That's good. Now we'll go into this igloo. Whoa, okay, so I think this is where we gotta keep in mind where the potential first button of this stage or this this level could be in. So let's try to get through all of this as much as I can. And then as soon as I can, I wanna switch out of this one. I might have to wait for that to disappear because I do wanna grab the laser ability or the beam ability, just like that. Okay, we're gonna try our best to hold on to this one. Don't need the health just yet. Well, as you can see, sometimes you can just break these open. You can find cool secrets. I don't know if there's too much over on this side that we need to find, but if we go back up here and bust open one of those maybe, and keep attacking our way through, just like that. There's a lot of little waddle these over there. Okay, this is one of the few areas where you can just break normal looking blocks. Oh, it's coming at me? Whoa, that was close because normally we would just wanna go through that door, but obviously there, there's something more here. And to get all that, I might need to, it's a little difficult to do, but ah, we could get up here. And I can't, whoa, that makes a weird noise, doesn't it? So I think for that, I need to jump back this way, and it should have responded by now, it did. We need to get you right here, the fireball ability to bust through that one. So I'll run back over, and boom, we got it. So doing that allows us to get the green button right here, opening up another crane game. So that is our second to last button we need to get. The, the next one's pretty far later on, so not too worried about it. We'll just keep moving forward with this level for now. And uh-oh, lots of enemies around <laughs> trying to get us. I might just wanna use the fireball to sort of just move forward and get out of here. That's not good. Can I get it back? I don't think I can. I'll grab the spark ability instead. Oh, I can break that open a little bit <laughs> to send these guys flying down. That honestly feels nice to do with how much trouble these little cannons can give me at sometimes. Okay, you know what, you're mine. And with that, we'll finish up our first level, or first stage of level seven. Ooh, we got it too, excellent. With the very tippity top, we get a one up out of that one too. Really cool. Awesome, so now we're up to 11 lives, and we can move on to stage two in just a moment, but since we just unlocked that crane game, why don't we go check it out? And we get another perfect here in Crane Fever. I don't know, that big Kirby is way down there, but you know what, we'll try it. Ah, that was definitely too far. What a shame. Okay, will we even be able to grab it? Ah, not quite. So it's gonna take a lot of risk this time if we wanna get it. Should I just maybe default and use the little basic Kirby? I think we should. That was still too far, what is going on with me today? <laughs> so that's not a good start. I don't know if we'll really get any of them then. Oh well. It happens sometimes. So yeah, no no Kirby's for us this time. We've had the whole spectrum of it. We've gotten both big Kirby's, we've gotten a mixture of both Kirby's, and now we've gotten no Kirby's. <laughs> All right, no bonus for us, that's okay. If we go down here though, we can tackle stage two here in level seven. It's very quiet. Uh. Whoa, okay, we're fighting somebody right away. Got a little, uh, I think they're called Poppy Bros, these guys. Ooh, they got me a little bit, but if I just get that again, I can duck under that attack, just start swinging at them, and one more should do it. There we go. So they usually give me the crash ability, which I don't need too much. I think we're just gonna keep fighting bosses. Is this like a boss tower? That'd be cool. I think so, because now we have you. Ooh, oh, okay, not too good. Let's try that again. Ooh, can't get that close. Now you will definitely have the crash ability. I can just fire those, uh, Things right back at you. Oh no, you have the mic ability, that's right. So we'll use that against the next fight here. Whatever this might end up being. Ooh, it's you again. Okay, so let's jam out taking you on. And that was it, okay, cool. So I'll just drop that last little piece and we'll get the freeze ability instead. I think that could be a little bit more useful at times. 
we just gotta keep trying. What's our next boss? Oh, it's a... Uh, whatever their name is, I forget right now. You know what, we're just gonna fire it at them. I think it's easier sometimes to take on bosses like this by firing the projectiles at them, because you're about to run at me. You're gonna jump and slam. Make a star, I eat the star, I miss! Uh-oh, we'll throw a coconut, right? Yep, there we go. No, but I missed again! <laughs> I'm just missing all over the place. You're gonna charge, though. You still get me pretty good. Darn, I'm making all kinds of mistakes right now. Here, give me the coconut. That way you can jump and I can just get rid of you. Ooh, scary. I definitely want the hammer ability, though. As we continue forward. We're getting higher and higher up with only one bit of health here. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, the thing is that, okay, I did not do good there. We, we started this with not full health, so I'm not gonna beat myself up too much that we couldn't get through that one. We're just gonna try again. Okay, so luckily we start at this door, so that gives us a chance to sort of make things work. Okay, so what are you gonna do here? Right now, I think you make the ladybugs, right? Oh no, you make this stuff. There we go. And I think you drop the throw ability, which we didn't use too much, because I got it mixed up with the the one slam ability. So I don't think I've even read the description of this one, so I'd like to do that. I didn't mean to do that, though. Oh boy. Jump over you here. You know, it seems pretty simple. I, I okay, I, I swear I pressed jump there. If you could throw another one of those at me, I'll just toss it right back at you. So it seems pretty simple for this fight. They just sort of charge at us repeatedly. And then we sometimes get those thrown at us. Back here though, I just don't have a ton of time to respond. Okay, there we go. Oh, are you going for more? It might be, they might be. Here we go, here we go. And then, gotcha, that was good. So let's go ahead and grab this, the throw ability, and take a look at it. Kirby can grab an enemy and toss it away, like a star. Use an enemy to beat others. That sounds great. So I'll be tossing enemies and other things all over the place. I don't think we can toss the big mini bosses. Oh, but we got you, see? You have the other ability. So we'll see what we can do about this one. Whoa! You should be throwing the ladybug soon. Here we go. So I wanna grab these and toss them over like that. Oh, but you got me pretty good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go, ready? Boom, gotcha. So if we could just survive a little bit longer. Come on, the ladybug. And then there we go, we gotcha. Don't get hurt by that, but I do wanna grab this. This will give us the backdrop ability, which is very similar, but very different. How is there still more? This keeps going and going. This time, oh yeah, we got you. So you can be tough to deal with. Ah, especially when you do that. I'm not so good at this one. I think we want to, once again, ah, come on. Wait, okay, that didn't hurt me. So the invincibility. So we need to jump really high and then move out of the way. Well, it helps us if we don't move. Okay, yeah, you're gonna do that. And then you'll do a mini jump, right? No, no, you'll do a full jump, land on your face. We just launch that at you. Okay, you're gonna get, swing your claws at me. I don't appreciate that one. And then, oh wait, oh come on. That really stinks when I can't get away from that one. Really frustrating. Because we need more space than they're giving us. Okay, that should be good. Right there, okay. That'll give us the fireball ability, which can be really nice. Also, we broke over a million points. That's amazing. And look at this, I think we've made it to the top. What a fight that was. And then there's our, our warp star. Jeez. Quite a difficult tower to climb. We found our way through. Whoa, look at this place. We're not quite done, it seems. Um, oh no, we're definitely not. Let's grab that extra health and just get out of here. <laughs> that is good. So at least we're leaving here with a full bill of health and we get to the second level. Not too bad. So stage two is completed. Now we're moving on over to stage three. Oh, it looks so pretty here. Love the colors of the blue and the pink. And I think with this, whoa, yeah, we can just charge through these guys pretty easily. Oh no, ooh, I almost got hurt there. Lots of sleepy heads around here. <laughs> there we go, got through that no problem. Lots of other enemies that were trying to catch up to us and they do end up getting us, okay. It's fine. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting the cutter ability. Getting it might be a bit of a challenge though. Got it, got it, we're fine. Oh, but then you take it away immediately. There's just not a lot of room to move up here to really do anything about it. We might just be safer with no ability for now. We do get a health refill right over here. I'll gladly take that. It's so slippery. I might just wanna eat you up if I have the chance. 
just to get rid of you. Move th through this door. Oh, it's a uh, Meta Knight again. So we'll get this invincibility candy, but we know what that means. Whenever we run into Meta Knight and his invincibility candy, we typically run into his bad guys as well. I don't know if that'll be the case this time, especially since we've defeated Meta Knight now in the last episode. We'll get through this. Still have more to run through, but that's all again. Okay, jumping over that. Ooh, okay, wait. Ah, I was trying to grab that. Didn't quite work out. I would love the parasol ability though. Wait, wait, there we go. Cool, did it fire a parasol at me? That was weird. That might have just been a weird angle. Anyways, I'm losing everything. We can get through here and finish this level already. Okay, so yeah, pretty good stuff for now, but that's stage three. Here comes stage four. Ooh, lots of little flowers in this one. <laughs> Actually, really big flowers. It's in this happy little garden. Oh no. Ooh, got the good sword swing there, but it wasn't enough to save my sword from that. Gotcha. There's sort of a backswing to it. Kirby swings it all the way around. Oh man. Just trying to dodge what I can with so many enemies trying to get us. They make it look so easy. They make it look so very easy. Gonna grab you, at least I get sword back. And now I can go through here. Whoa, a lot of going on here. I love this room, very fancy. I wanna try to get you if possible. Oh, come on, that was not fun. Got it. Okay, so back up here, just going to, oh my, a lot more going on in this room and they get me, come on. They jump a moment after I swing. That's just great. I mean, we start back in this room, so I'll just get through these guys. I also like that when you swallow an enemy that doesn't have anything, it'll say on the little ability screen, nothing, just like that. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so, oh, not good. I just take damage so easily in this game. There is so much going on in each of these rooms. It is very neat though. I wanna yeah, try to burn through them as much as possible because if not, that happens. And then right about there, there we go. Still more to survive. Oh, this one is officially very weird. No, don't fall. No, don't fall. Kirby, don't do it. Kirby, don't do it. Oh man, that could have been bad. Okay, I would like to just wait here, go like that, eat you. Sometimes it's just better to take it slow. Get all that stuff, and look at that, we finally got to the end of the level. Jeez, that was a tough one. Didn't quite get the right timing for that, but there we go, we did it. Stage four is down, now done, but there's still a few more to sort of survive here. Let's see what stage five has for us, uh-oh. Okay, I was able to stop you before you crashed, but can I do the same thing to all these guys? As they're, ow, all trying to explode. I guess not. Gotcha, oh no. Oh, luckily that didn't hurt me, but there's more of them, come on. That is silly. <laughs> trying to dodge one, I, I make another one spawn in and just get so messy. I wonder if it'd just be better if I ran, if I just ran as fast as I could. Doesn't seem like that's the answer, but to try again. Maybe because Kirby has something in his mouth, I don't know. This is such a weird area. Okay, luckily I wasn't close enough for that one. Let's just get out of here. Oh, got the big wheel coming in. What do I do about this? Whoa, I, I was supposed to, okay. Forgot about that. This is one of the mini bosses we didn't fight in the tower, though. Got you a little bit. Just gonna wait for you to fall to your side again. And send another. If we can do that one more time, we'll be fine. Oh no. Come on, where's your wheel, friend? Gotcha! And I guess I'll just take the ability. Okay, I don't know if I wanna use it too much here. I don't trust this. Whoa, we jumped up really, how did we do that? Whoa, there's like a gravity thing going on here. I don't know what that was about. Uh, I guess I'll go up here. This is really hard to control. That is so odd. In some areas it's pushing me down, and some it's pushing me up. Never seen that before. Okay, we're almost there though. We've gotten through it. Getting some really neat sort of circumstances for these different stages. Okay, so this is maybe where I can at least get through a bit more. Oh, I definitely need some of that. So let's uh grab this, and then you. Laser should work here. There we go. Oh, but that's so quick. That's so fast. 
Can I try again? I would think I'd have to. Maybe if I run all the way over. Huh, the end of the level is right there. But if I go all the way over like that, it does come back. Come on, ah, oh, you just can't jump up there fast enough. That's not gonna work, so. I guess if we go all the way over like this, the one enemy should, yeah, here you are, gotcha. Fireballs are best bet. Hey, but even then, <laughs> not working out for me too well. Jeez, I don't even know what's up there, because it shouldn't be a bun or anything. I would just, you know, a secret with maybe a couple more one-ups or something. This one is definitely not easy though. Okay, so what if I did go through like that, and then, I don't know, that's just not fast enough. I don't, I don't really know how to do this one. Uh, fall down there, just, I don't know, I think we're gonna leave it. <laughs> those, those, those kind of things where I just, I can't be bothered. Let's just keep going, if it lets me jump. When you turn around really quick, there's a moment where you can't jump. There we go, so. Let's see what else do we have here. Stage six, right up this way. Should have our final button, if I'm not mistaken, because it is a really cool throwback level. So it's a throwback level to, of course, the original Kirby's Dream Land on the Game Boy. And that's so cool that the second Kirby game already has nostalgic throwback levels with its black and white color scheme. We see these in almost every Kirby game. It's just like some kind of nostalgic throwback kind of level. Kirby's always been about its like, you know, rich history and stuff. And you really see that here too. So let's go through this door and, ooh, get through some of this. The designs are pretty similar to what we saw in Dreamland. And of course, there's plenty of other Dreamland games. We have Dreamland 2 and 3 as well that I want to get to eventually. But for right now, we're going through the store. We'll get the big castle in the distance. I'm hoping we don't get knocked out here. Because I am very low on health. I do notice, but I'm trying to be careful. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Go over this way. Come on, Kirby. No! Why would they just. How would I know? How would I know? Jeez. That is ridiculous. I was gonna say though, it is interesting, the difference between this and the original is of course that Kirby isn't gray, he's a, he's a bright pink now, and that really does make it so he stands out quite distinctly with all the black and white backgrounds. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But what do we do here? I guess not up that way, instead we're going over here. Oh, there is a one up for me. I would love to grab that, I really need some more lives, so I wish I could've just gotten that Metamato a little bit sooner, it would've been fine. Well, in the meantime, Looks like we're at a nice little island here. Can grab another enemy. Just get over here as soon as possible. All these little squids trying to jump up in front of me. I do not appreciate it. Okay, one of them gets me. Not the end of the world. Ooh, okay, so if I could just hop down here, break that open, I'll get my health back. Gotta be careful for this coconut. We avoided it. And what's the deal with this? Gotta be something over here, right? I guess not, huh? Well, I'll try to be careful about my movements here, but what we really wanna do is pop right down there and then get close enough to take a block. It definitely makes it easier to get through. Be nice and careful with all that. We don't even need the Metamato again. Whenever they're around, I just don't really need them. Okay, we're running, okay. I thought I could make it under that. We don't wanna hit these enemies with, uh, or at least try to eat them, because they'll try to eat us back. Ouch. And I guess it's another door to get through. Whoa, okay. I like this one. These little sort of moon-shaped blocks that we're running around. There we go. Whenever we run into levels like these, it typically means we're pretty close to the end of the game, so that's exciting to see. But as we're getting up here, and farther up into the stars, oh, I wonder if it's that much faster. Okay, good to know. We do have somebody with an ability, finally. I guess they sort of held on on that because, you know, the original Kirby Streamland didn't really. But here's the end of the level, and this is where we need to pay attention. There should be a, a door right below the moon, and inside is the final button. So we finally got it. Every single button should be unlocked with that, as far as I can tell. So that's awesome. We'll grab an extra one up over there and be good to go. So let's finish off this level in style with maybe getting to the tippity top. Ah, not even to number two, so it's fine. That was pretty exciting though. I'm glad that we were able to get stage six done. And with it, another boss fight appears. Let's go and tackle that after we see this little warp star action. 
Nice little sort of pink sunset for this one. But yeah, we have lots of levels unlocked so far. Let's check this out. This might be the final boss. I'm really not sure, because you can see the fountain in the distance. That's where uh, King DDD stole the star rod. So I'm guessing King DDD himself might be back here. Here he is. So we got the cutter ability to take him on for right now. Hopefully that's enough for us, because you know he's not gonna play nice. He's not gonna make this easy. But so far, you know, I'm hitting him with the cutter. It's not doing any damage. Whoa, oh, he's really trying to get me though. Oh, I got around you. That's good. Now we're starting to do some numbers. Pretty intense. We can throw a lot more of these cutters though, so I should be a little bit more on top of it, I guess. Here, hold on, let's grab that. It's able to throw a star at him, but uh oh. Ooh, that hurts. Come on, can I get that back? He's super jumping now. Ah, oh, it disappeared. So I guess we're just using Kirby's basic abilities now, which is fine. Uh oh, uh, duck under that one. And then maybe right here? Okay, that was close, that was really close. No, he did take damage, actually. Huh, that's unfortunate. He's about halfway down. This is really challenging. He did it, he's really giving us everything he's got. Ah, oh, and he just sort of fumbled with that one. How did I forget King DDD's classic move of just falling over? There we go, got it. He's gonna do the little air balloon thing, which luckily seems like the easiest thing to dodge out of all this. It's really this move I have a problem with, but we got over it. You're gonna chase me with the hammer now? We're just gonna do this again. Okay. Uh, that doesn't drop anything for me to throw at him, though, which is the unfortunate thing, but this will. There we go. Hit him again. He's gonna try to get me with the hammer, but I can avoid that, but I missed the star because I didn't turn around in time. We are so close to getting him. Oh, man. He's jumping again, but this we know makes a star. We're getting so close to it, but geez, this is difficult. I don't know why I couldn't have jumped there. Okay, here he goes again with all that. Ah, gonna dodge that one. Now I know better, now I know better. Super jump coming in. Ah, oh, just one more star should do the trick. Ah, scary, scary. But we are also one hit away from being defeated. So it's really close on both sides. No! Oh, come on, he bests us this time. Darn, I don't even know what happened there. That was so weird. Okay, I just need to hit him one more time, but man, is he making it tough for us. If I can just grab this, right there, we get him! All right, see you, King DDD. Can I eat you? I don't think I can. <laughs> the King DDD power up, right? But we're at level eight at the Fountain of Dreams. So I guess we did it then. Oh no, don't go, Kirby. I'm sorry, but we have to. <laughs> Why is he begging us not to do it? This seems so weird. Oh, yikes, that's gotta hurt. Sorry, King DDD, but we gotta restore the peace. Put that star rod right back where we found it. Uh, uh-oh. What is that? Both Kirby and King DDD are freaked out by that thing. Oh no, what? Whoa! I guess King Dedede's sort of helping us out. What in the world is this? Or what out of this world? Oh gosh, so we have a new ability here too, Star Rod. Make the final effort, shoot the star to defeat the final enemy. What is this thing? So we have this sort of crazy final boss fight where we're shooting it in the, in the sky with stars. Oh man, let's hit it with as much as we can. It gets pretty intense, but it's so cool. So it's sort of like a second final boss. King Dedede wasn't so bad after all. Isn't that a likely story? <laughs> okay, so let's just do what we can then. This weird sort of star ball that we're hitting. We are taking some good damage though, so we do have to be careful, but it is all over the place right now. Ooh. Just trying to dodge what I can, but also, ouch. <laughs> Hit this thing, it can be hard because the stars are pretty easy to miss when they're in motion like that. Whoa, so those ones sort of crisscross. Can I charge it up at all? I don't think I can. So we're just trying to fire off these stars as fast as I can. That one hurt. We're so close to getting it that if I could just survive for a little bit longer. Come on. Ooh, no, not good. Not good. It's a little bit longer. It's gonna dive forward. But now we get it, right? This is our chance. Oh, I think we did. Maybe it's flying off. Oh, geez. The wall is sort of moving. Can I go anywhere? Uh, what? It went away. I'm so confused, what did I do wrong? Okay, this time we got it, it didn't fly away this time. Let's grab this power star and keep chasing it. 
Oh man, that was pretty intense. So where are we going now? It's a great chase up there in the sun. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We're slowly catching up. Oh no, we're whizzing by all these stars. What is that thing? Here it comes. Kirby is dodging left and right all over the place. Oh no! You okay, buddy? This might not be good. Whoa, look at you! Oh man, so the star rod's a little bit different on the ground. We can jump in, we can throw shots like that, but that does definitely still hurt. I've been pretty beat up here. So it's definitely hard to fight this guy who's very, very creepy. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I got you a little bit there. That's something. It can be visually very hard to keep up with everything now with uh, is how this works. I was able to hit you, but you hit me. So I was expecting to get knocked out there just because I was already going in it with low health. But here we go. Let's try again. Oh no, oh no. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. But whenever it reveals sort of its body under the cape, that's when we go, when we attack. That did a little bit of damage. But geez, with all just the pixels flying by, it could be really disorienting. So far we're doing a lot better though, not losing any health so far. Just gotta wait for opportunities. And the good thing is that when those stars come up, we can knock them away if we time it right. Come on. Ooh, that's not gonna do too much. As soon as you show yourself, we need to throw those stars, but that wasn't far enough. It gets too high up there. Here we go, much better. We're about halfway down. Oh no, whoa. Gotcha. It is so quick. Zipping around everywhere. Duck under that one for sure. Oh no, here we go again. I'm ready for you though. See, Dad doesn't do anything too much, as you can see. Whoa, I dodged it all though, that was cool. Very fortunate. I'm trying to hit you there, but it just wasn't a little too low to the ground. Come on, there's our chance, and I didn't, didn't hit it, okay. Weird. Uh. We started this well, but now it's sort of starting to fall apart. Oh no, uh, that was a new move. Come on, Kirby, we can do this. So while you're over there, I need to get up here, but then he turned it again. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. We were doing so well, he's really starting to catch up on us now. Here's our chance, but I just, I can't quite reach it. And then I try to fly in the air, but by the time I do that, he's sort of already gone. Oh my gosh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, here we go, here we go. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's a little bit more damage done to you. Ducking into that one for sure. Here we go. What are you gonna do this time? Not too much. We need to jump and throw this, but once again, it's not, ah. I don't like it. And then, ooh. Maybe I could just, it's very, okay, I'm just taking damage trying to do that. Come on, come on, come on. The game lags out the worst times possible. Come on, oh, did we get them? I think we did. Oh man, whoa, this is scary. Uh, we got you, with one health left to spare, we defeated whatever that thing was. What a nightmare. Whoa. And that's how the moon became a crescent. Huh. Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. But King Dedede did not mean any harm. Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. A nightmare came to the Dream Spring and tried to cause pain to the people. Oh, there's Dedede. Dedede foiled the nightmare. Hi by hiding the star rod from him. So DDD wasn't a bad guy after all. DDD helped Kirby beat the nightmare. Now everyone's dreams will return. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. I'm glad. They deserve a good night's rest after all that. <laughs> Pretty intense. I guess we get to fly home now. What an adventure it has been. Whoa! Kirby just did throw the star rod back under the fountain. So all is right again.
Wow. And I guess that just sort of disperses the good dreams around. Into little stars. This game is so cute. I love it. And with that done, we have completed Kirby's Adventure. And now we get a little sort of flashback of all the bosses we fought and with all the credits as well. What a wonderful game this is. I'm so happy I got to play it for you guys because it is just such a fun throwback. This is easily one of the best NES games. It was so well made for the time. If you consider, if you compare this to other games that came out for the console, this one is just so advanced in some ways that we don't see for other generations onwards. You know, we really don't see games I feel like of this caliber in terms of even the quality of the art, but also the, the dynamicness of the levels and different themes constantly. We really don't see that as much until, you know, you know, there's some games like Mario 3 and stuff, but mostly until the Super Nintendo. So that's what makes this game super impressive in my opinion. But beyond that, it is just a joy to play, and I'm glad that we got to play through it together. And of course, this was all to prepare for the brand new Kirby remastering coming out, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So Kirby comes back to Dreamland and teams up with some friends too. That'll be on the Nintendo Switch in just a few weeks. So I'm so excited to play that for you guys. Stay tuned for that for sure. Um, we might play a couple extra Kirby games in the meantime. We'll have to see how the, you know, how time management works out for me. But this one was definitely one on my list for a long time. And I'm really glad I got to check it out. But as you can see, it's still sort of throwing us, throwing back, giving us some throwbacks to some previous fights, even the DDD fight we just finished. A really cool adventure for sure. And there's still dozens of older Kirby games we can get to eventually, for sure. But there we go, the end. Bye-bye! <laughs> I love how it says bye-bye on the end. So, that's really cool. So I think we can just maybe press a button here? Extra game, congratulations. Choose extra game to go on a more challenging quest. In this quest, you can't save and your max health is three. So we could do that. We could play through the game again to get the extra game completed. If you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Kirby's Adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.